No, I'm not gaining favour as you'd have it. I saw what I saw. I, it were a bird of pheasant species. I ought to know, being as twas a pheasant brought me here. Only, twer brightly coloured, it were done. Matched the place perfectly. And then there's this great flummery of tail, shimmering and quivering, and bird dancing and singing songs as it stole from other birds. Such a clamouring of carols and cackles and chuckles I never heard. And I saw them natives, the ones as helped me, dancing like it. So as I weren't quite sure whether twere men aping bird or bird having a lark at men's expense. Put me in irons, if you will. I saw what I saw. More trouble was taken over one fine tail than over men's lives. The cage padded with oakum, the creature tamed with morsels daintier than we were ever given, until it was patent. The bird preferred grubs to any grain. Men, scoured to death by flux, went overboard. The lyre-bird remained. On sunny days, carried to the quarter-deck, it tilted its thin head, eyed the flapping sails. It disembarked in state, too much applause. We were piped down later, bosun scowling. They say it is the envy of ladies' hats. Dames have painted it in rear view with its plumes and pantaloons. We're on half pay, barely standing, poxed and purged. Even Bodin didn't make it past Mauritius. But the bird... My husband was the first to see it, a fast pulse of whiteness behind the saplings. Then the whole bird, dance floor whisper clean, tail splayed and trembling. He fetched me. I came furtively, our son clutched in my arms, and out of its mouth of ecstasy flowed trills, currawong's calls, a dingo's howl, far-off clankings of our milk pail and he came behind me, kissed the nape of my neck, held me with his calloused hands as the lyre-bird sobbed and thrilled and danced.